what you're gonna do every day? I I love it. I wake up <laughs> every day for a 485 <laughs> meeting, and our PMs just they're like, hey. We're kicking off this today. This is behind. So I need this end of day. Um, these are due end of week. Uh, and ABC needs to be done before the end of week. <laughs> yeah. And I just, I love being told exactly what and when to do. Because that's all I want. I just tell me what to write it's and convenient. when you need it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's all I need and I can do the rest. That's awesome. I, I, I can, I completely, that was my one thing that it was not even a fear it was like a straight up rejection my body my mind rejected the idea of the fact that i'm gonna know exactly what's gonna happen with my life every single day and i'm and not only that it's gonna have to be behind a desk like i'm gonna have to like sit in my fucking chair and wait for them to send me some assignment <laughs> and in between those things i cannot really start doing something that i like because at any point i could receive an assignment you know mm -hmm. and i was like I will not be able to last. Like, like I will not. I either need to change my mentality or I need to change what I'm doing because I'll not be able to. And then I learned that how to use the routine and uh, and work around, you know, the the schedule and introduce what I wanted. Like I worked with it, but I I, I rejected it the, that structure at the beginning. You know, it's nice that on your side you, you like embraced it because. So many times we all we need is a little bit of structure, and when a job you know can provide you with that, um, it's great. You know you can finally be productive for a certain amount of time, and then you know you're gonna be able to be free after that. Um, has the agency allowed you to have a lot of free personal time? I, I know that it's a basic thing that in pharma you work like this time to this time, and then there's no after work. Like there's not there's not a lot of times that you have to like stay up late, right? It's very rarely where like especially for like the seniors and all of that it's just like yeah. the regular coffee folk 5 30 hits pff, slacks off we're out <laughs> like <laughs> no joke like i got yelled at that a couple of times from people where you're like sydney you're still on slack turn off the computer step away <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> like they'll call that's me out awesome. for that but free time i it's not like free time but it's like the agency knows i have like a little bit more untapped creative energy that I'm putting into the project. So they really prioritize, you know, looking at other ads and sending them to my ECD and like saying why you like them. And then we'll do like a little highlight reel every now and then. Um, we have so many pro bono side gigs. Um, my creative director and my executive creative director, they're doing like this children's book project that's gonna be made it's insane okay yeah like it's gonna be a real physical book that you can buy in barnes and nobles I'm like that's insane what the that's heck that's so cool um, wow and yesterday when i was kind of talking with my coffee supervisor about like how the week went and what to expect next week she was like hey we kind of make like a new year's resolutions here at work. So like, think what are your goals that you want to achieve in the workplace? And you'll be able to tell me and your creative director, and then we can figure out how to achieve them together. And I was like, I love that. So I've been thinking about that a lot in my free time in between projects. That's cool. That it's super cool. I, I see that you're not only getting like boring pharma stuff, but you're getting to do fun, personal things as well. Pro bono stuff which is honestly sometimes the work that we're in for like the the stuff that we're really passionate for like it's nice they the way you the way you describe the work like you know lets me know that you're so passionate about it um it's awesome that you get to do a variety of things you know i can't say on my side that i've experienced that yet just because i was a mercenary i was a freelancer the whole time so i didn't get to experience that i was like kind of like okay what needs to be done yesterday and i'll have it done for you yesterday and yeah that's it no questions asked like there's no creativity like a lot of times i i left creativity for um efficiency you know so it's nice that you did that um uh, my question my next question was going to be like what does a day-to-day -day of a junior copywriter look like so you start you have the meetings in the morning uh and you work until 5 30 you said mm -hmm. uh when when is your lunch when do you usually like decide to take a break whenever i want it <laughs> whenever that's i so have time cool. <laughs> that's cool sometimes it's at noon sometimes it's at two it's whenever i feel like i'm ready to need my break 
that yeah. do- obviously doesn't have a meeting. Like, I'm not going to take my lunch during a meeting. <laughs> okay. I get, um, my agency, what they did is that for every day between 12 and 1 p.m., they blocked out um, all the meetings. So you can you could still put a meeting, but basically your time was already, like, scheduled. You know, you, you, were, you were busy. Just so people could all, like, have 12 to 1 lunches because they found out that people were having different lunches and people couldn't make make it to meetings and stuff so that's what that's how they sold our thing but my that's the only way they kept our lunch on schedule but if not i think it would be the same as yours. like one day 12 o'clock the other day 2 p.m whenever you're hungry you know <laughs> depends on what you did that day you know yeah and i'm not sure if that's like that at the, like the upper levels but for me i have a good on an average day for meeting so i usually yeah. take the time in between two to take my mm-hmm. lunch take a breather step away from everything you know tidy up the kitchen whatever is it more meeting or more writing throughout the day <sighs> definitely or better said more administrative or more writing this month's been a little bit different because obviously we're so close to the holidays and i don't our work is done i think noon new year's eve up until new year's like we are office is closed pencils are down so it's a little bit a little bit slower this month but last month was definitely more meeting heavy but because it was my first month a lot of it was onboarding meeting different people one-on-ones um calling with office tech to make sure my computer was all set up and onboardings for different projects because a lot of projects kicked off and yeah it was a lot of meetings i think i had i think the most was eight or nine in one day that that was rough that was a rough day that's (laughs) a lot of wiped out but so yeah depends on the day depends on depending on the day you have your lunch you know you continue working you finish five five thirty um what do you do after that? Like, I don't know. What does life look like in... Where are you living now? Brooklyn? Harlem? Harlem. Harlem, right? How... What do you do around there? Is everything closed or is most of your, like, free time and hobby time spent at home? Or how does it look like? Um, hmm. Back in October, when I didn't have a job, we went out. Me and my, I live with my boyfriend. We used to yeah. go out all the time. And now I'm working and he's working more. So a lot of our time is spent at home. Just we just moved into August. We're still we have two boxes left. We have two boxes (laughs) that are left to unpack to buy stuff. (laughs) Wow. Yeah. So we spend a lot of time at home. Like we just got a dresser. We just like upgraded the desk and office area over here with like beautiful ikea shelves that's nice so we're pouring a lot of our energy into like making the space our own because we definitely now will be renewing our lease but nice our little area of harlem's very quiet it's a little residential area there's like a like a small cafe a couple grocery stores mcdonald's um a hookah place <laughs> <laughs> we're a couple <laughs> blocks away from 125th and that's like this big shopping strip where you got everything from like whole foods to old navy but that's cool yeah mostly we're chilling at home we're catching up on the mandalorian because he works friday nights and it drives me crazy <laughs> <laughs> that i have to wait two days for everyone else because we don't watch until sundays oh my god 